Hi everyone, welcome back to Maths for Kids. My name is Jocelyn. In today's video, I will be explaining to you the main strategies on how to do problem solving. Let's start. Here are the strategies for problem solving. Read, understand, choose, solve, answer, check. As you can see, we have highlighted the first letters of all of the words in red. When you say all of these letters together, it gives us the word rucksack. This word will help you to remember the strategies for problem solving. The first thing you need to do is read. Read the question carefully. Make sure you read it twice. Underline or highlight the important words or phrases. This can help you when you do the rest of rucksack. Next, you will have to understand. In order to solve and do the question, you must understand it and what you are meant to find and do. It could be multiplication, division, addition or subtraction. Choose. In this step, you will need to choose what methods that you will be using. You will have to solve next. Do the sums and calculations that you chose to find your answer. A for answer. Answer the question. Make sure you add units if there were any. Does the answer look right? And finally, the most important, check. Make sure you double check your answer and your calculations to make sure that you have got the answer correct. Now we are going to do an example question. First, we need to read. Michelle and Lottie both have apples. Michelle has 10 apples and Lottie has 15. How many apples do they have all together? When we read the question, we also need to underline or highlight the important phrases or numbers that are important. Like this. The important pieces of information in this question is 10 apples, 15 apples, how many apples and all together. These phrases will help us solve the answer to this question. Next, we need to understand the question. We need to understand what this question is telling us to do and what we have to find. Here it says, how many apples do they have all together? This means we need to add 10 apples and 15 apples together. After, choose. We need to choose what operation we are going to do to find the answer to this question. We need to add 10 and 15. So, 15 and 10 gives us 25. We need to answer the question. Michelle and Lottie both have apples. Michelle has 10 apples and Lottie has 15 apples. How many apples do they have all together? They have 25 apples all together. And last, most important, we have to check. So we have to do the inverse. 25 minus 10 gives us 15. That means the answer to the question is 25. Thank you for watching. I hope you now understand how to use Bruxelles. Carry on practicing. See you soon for my next video. Bye.